What is going on, everybody? Thank you for stopping by. We're going to do a nice little update. This is going to be close to 16 minutes, which is not going to be very long because if you enjoy watching these videos, the videos go by it really, really quick. Went to stop by the coral reef to hang out and see what was going on. And these things caught my attention immediately. Just check out the glow. Um, I usually carry a blue flashlight with me. I've shown you guys my blue flashlight before. And uh, a lot of times, this is a secret weapon because the other people who are shopping for coral aren't going to have a blue flashlight. So they're not going to see the coral pop that only you will see if you carry one. So what's been going on with me? Not too much. I've been uh, reefing all the time. Even when I'm not pushing out videos, I'm still reefing. I'm doing something. And that's just the way it is. But I've had a little bit of time as the year we're ready in May is flying by, guys. So congratulations to you, your family, for probably coming up on graduation. Uh, really cool, uh, proud moment for you guys. Well deserved. If you were here, probably give you a coral. But I did miss you guys, so we're going to do a nice update. We're going to talk about some corals. I definitely picked up some corals today. Uh, kind of changed it up. For a while, I stopped doing LPS because I was having some serious issues. A lot of my chalices ended up dying. I don't know why they died. I think maybe my water was too clean. I don't know. Um, I didn't do a water test. And I'm not talking about like alkalinity or pH or anything like that. I'm talking about those uh, serious water tests where they test all your elements and what's in your water and all that good stuff but things are bouncing back in my tank and i think i'm going to start messing around with some lps again uh definitely getting into this sps game like some of you guys out there i definitely want to place some orders later on not right now but i'd like to get some acros some just because they have the crazy colors i don't care so much about movement um, softies provide movement, fish provide movement, but I care about those corals, those colors, and uh, I'm really, really interested in some acros now that my SPS are doing okay. So hold your horses. I am going to show you what my tank is looking at so you guys can help ID some of the corals and some of the sticks that I have because I don't really know the colors. I did come into my LFS. And I've been looking for a copper band butterfly. I'm finally going to break down and buy one as soon as they get it in stock. So that way I can take care of some of these damn Aptasias. These Aptasias and my 150 are getting out of control. And uh, I started manually removing them. But uh, when you start looking for them, they'll just shrink up. So I did uh, start manually removing them. But after a while, it just gets out of control you get tired and i need somebody full time like a snail and i'm hoping that a copper band butterfly will go ahead and uh, help assist me in that every time i come to the coral reef i always come back with something usually and i picked up one of those little ghanis and uh of course those zoas those pallies from the beginning of the video that were just glowing and i'm going to end up pitting these in my 25 gallon lagoon uh my lagoon, I pretty much moved all my little zoas and pallies into that tank. Uh, see how they go. And with the 150, I kind of want to mess around just with the SPS and a few other pieces. This is my big old leather. And we're going to get into the update of the 150 gallon reef. Now, for those of you just checking out the channel, the lighting that I'm using are the Reef Breeder Photon version 2 lights they're pretty awesome i've had them for several years now and they're doing really good on my tank they're growing sps just fine and uh the zoas and the pallies are doing really good in this tank um, as you can see the colors are popping and i'm going to give you a little bit of closer look so you guys can see for yourself i don't know the names of um, all the corals except for this jack jack-o-lantern lepto and it's doing really good. It's kind of hungry right now. Um, it was neglected, getting turned over a lot because of, um, you know, snails or the wrasse. I do want to get some bigger frag plugs, like those um, big old 
discs so that way my uh, corals can grow onto them and uh, they won't get damaged. But definitely one of my favorite pieces. I'm glad it didn't uh, die when I was having my LPS issues. But it is doing good and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the sticks. Now the reds and the pinks, I'm getting them down pretty good. Um, as you can see, this piece right here I got uh, with that green base and the red pink on it is doing good. The purple on the far left has been pretty awesome. I think my colors have been coming out a little bit better because of the last products that I got. I got a bunch of um, coral food from Brightwell and uh, seems to be doing pretty good. I don't know. I think they look better than what they have been doing in the past. I really haven't been changing it up too much uh, but things are starting to look pretty sweet if you ask me I'll get a little bit closer look I don't know the name of the corals but uh, if you know them drop them in the uh, comments below with the like number mark like six minutes and nine seconds is this coral or whatever so here it is I can see why SPS is pretty addicting uh, a lot of people dump a lot of money in SPS Far more expensive than any Zoas that I pretty much have. Um, I started off with little frags from here. Uh, my buddy Alan uh, really did hook me up with a lot of pieces. I traded him a lot of Zoas from my uh, frag tank and uh, he hooked it up. Um, so the things are coloring up pretty good. I really just don't move them around too much. I just kind of let things alone. and. Uh, they're growing, man, and I can't wait. Um, one good thing is I wish I would have spaced things out a little bit further on my overflow. I did a pretty good job on my rock, but on my overflow, things are kind of getting, they're going to get close. I do miss the 180 just because I had two big old overflows and I started to stick a lot of SPS on there, which, by the way, my buddy Enrique still hasn't set up. I'm just going to have to break down, hang out with him on a weekend, and set that 180 beast up so that way uh, my buddy Enrique can get his tank going on because I'm telling you, that build right there, he showed me all the equipment that he had on it, and it's going to be legit. But just take a look at the sand bed. If you look at any other of my past videos, you would see that this whole sand bed was full of Zoas and Pallies. And uh, I kind of moved all of those out. Still have a few pieces in here, but uh, they're going to make their way to the lagoon. And it's just going to be SPS in this tank as much as possible. SPS, Acros, and uh, maybe uh, a few nice LPS. As you see, I have a whole bunch of this digi, red digi that just broke all over the place. I didn't mean to frag it, but that's just the way it happens. You start moving things around and you break corals and frag on accident. I do plan on gluing them, putting them on some frag plugs, standing them up so that they way, that way they can uh, color up real good. And then probably sell them here locally for a few bucks, not too much. And as you can see, they're pretty big pieces. A lot of them, you could even start a colony just like that. Because when I got it, I got it as a tiny little frag. And now look at them. And personally, I like to share my corals. That way, in case something happens, I can get a little piece of that back. Uh, there's a few people that have bubblegum digis that I no longer have. So hopefully I can get a piece of that later on when it's ready. I glued some monoporas, some red monopora, green monopora. And then I'm going to glue some uh, purple monopora on there. So that way, it'll be pretty sweet. I'll have all three colors right there. and they'll just grow up and hopefully look pretty good i did pit them on a rock where anything on there's nothing really below them because when you pitch your corals you got to kind of plan for the future the coral growth and uh, monty's as you know get pretty big and they will shade everything below it and then nothing else will be able to grow the digi piece right here this whole rock was full of the red digi and as you can see there's a bunch of uh, bare spots right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these SPS that I got. Um, I got this frag pack uh, last time online and I still have them on the rack right now and hopefully they grow pretty good. 
Um, and I'm talking about the rack on the back of the tank, not the corner. Now for future plans on this tank, what I want to do as far as equipment, I would like to get an Apex later on. I'm not going to get like the all out Apex with all that good stuff on it. I just want something affordable. Um, and then the near, near, near future, the next upgrade that I'm going to do on this tank, I'm waiting for that new Aquatic Life T5 hybrid fixture. Um, I'm going to keep the same LEDs. These Reef Breeder LEDs have been kicking butt. And they're doing really good. I really like the controllability of them. But I do want two more additional bulbs from Aquatic Life. And I'm waiting for that fixture. Because really that fixture is going to be a single plug. I thought about getting the current Aquatic Life fixture that they have out. But um, I want to just go ahead and save my money for that one. The newer one. So I can just have a single plug. And it will be pretty sweet. Especially since I want to up... My SPS game, you know, four bulbs of T5 plus LED. Uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. I know the par on that's going to be off the off the hook. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And then as far as flow, I would like to change up my flow and get some uh, Ecotech MP40s. The new ones, because I had the uh, old ones, the wireless ones where they're white. They were nice, and I, went, I got those when I first got into reefing. I do would consider getting a Tunzi wave box. I know that's old school, but I think it probably moves a lot of water. And I still might keep my options open on that. But we'll see. I don't know. But anyways, all these upgrades are going to happen little by little. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, I just don't got that kind of money. But that's the way it is. Reefing is a evolution. You start off little keep moving and moving and moving and getting bigger and better or whatever uh, but it's always moving around let's take a top down look at the reef tank a little bit of corals I did kind of do some rescaping changing things around and uh, kind of moving things around due to the fact that my anemones were becoming my enemies because they were moving around and stinging the crap out of everything my uh, green slimer it was on the far right side of the tank. Now I moved it to the left side of the tank. And I think it looks a lot better here. So now I need your guys' participation. I already know what the green slimer is. The purple garf bonsai. But what is this right here? Uh, it's taken off really good. It has like nice blue uh, tips and everything. And nice pastel colors. I don't know what the hell this thing is called. I forgot where I got it. Uh, this piece right here though I got from Allen at the coral reef and it's taken off it's pretty sweet that piece on the far right i don't know the name of it uh, i picked that up online below that i know that's uh garf bonsai and then i know um strawberry something on the bottom i don't know there's too many names for corals but help me out help a brother out and uh, drop some names in the comments below all I know is that my SPS are doing pretty good, so I'm not in a big rush to upgrade my equipment. I do have some nice coloration here. I do want to say that I think the Brightwell uh, coral food has been doing pretty good. I know it's amino acids, it's liquid. Uh, I think it's far better than feeding, you know, fine powdery coral food because uh, the liquid is probably easier for the corals to absorb and consume and uh, pit to use. They, I know they probably take less energy just by using the amino acids. So check out my tank, it is doing pretty good. And once again, doing a top-down shot of your aquarium, checking out the corals, especially at night and during the daytime with the flow totally off, you can notice different colors. Like in the nighttime, you know, the reds and the yellows and the pinks and everything pop like that. But in the daytime, I have some corals that have some blues and they're doing really, really well. Well, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end. If you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, uh, thanks again for hanging out and talking Reef Tank and letting me know that I'm not the only crazy person out here. Thanks again and share these videos with your buds.